All right, so welcome. Looks like we have a couple participants. Um, and let me reshare my screen here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sorry, I'm just organized. All right, so you are in the breakout room of application development, bachelor's of applied science degree, how to build skills, experience, and how that's in relation to Instagram. Just a reminder that this meeting is being recorded and slides will be available to download uh, within the next few days. If you have questions, you can definitely put them in the chat um, or if you have any reactions, please feel free to sh uh, share those out. Um, I do ask that you hold off on some questions until the end because I may cover your question throughout this presentation. <clears throat> All right, my name is Michelle Malero, she, her pronouns. I am the director for technology bachelor degree programs here at North Seattle College. And ultimately I'm here to help review previous transcripts that you may bring into a North and specifically into the app dev degree and find out which credits will transfer in, um, which ones you still may need to get into this particular program. And that's where I help you decide on what prereqs you may still need to take. Um, I will definitely help you answer any questions you have regarding this program or getting into the program. Um, I can navigate you, nav help navigate with any additional resources you may need um, and ultimately get you ready to apply. All right, so application development, bachelor's of applied science is also known as an applied baccalaureate degree. You start with 90 plus college credits or an associate's degree, uh, and then you're gonna complete the technical prerequisites if they are not included in your associate's degree. And then you complete two more years with us. So ultimately this is a two plus two program where you will build on your computer science fundamentals. You will be able to get skills training in web, mobile, cloud, and data science and you'll have experience via project-based classes, uh, client interaction, internships, and capstone projects. So I'm gonna describe this a little bit more later on, but let's jump into how this is in relation to Instagram. All right, we go. App development, so app development is incorporated in Instagram in a number of ways. Um, if either of you have an idea of which way, please feel free to share. You have either mobile app, web service, web app, cloud computing, data science, or all of the above. Does anyone want to guess? Anyone want to share? Okay, well, I will just go ahead and say that it is all of the above. So Instagram incorporates all mobile web, web app, cloud computing data and science. And we're gonna talk about how here in a moment. All right, so mobile app. So Instagram is obviously a mobile application. When you pick up your phone, you're looking at the mobile app and it's either on your Android's, uh, Android phone or on an iOS, which is your Apple product. And a mobile app is written in using a software framework called React Native, which is JavaScript with bits of Swift if you're on iOS or Java Kotlin if you're on um, Android. Oh, let me check the chat here. Oh, sounds good. Happy to have everyone in here. All right, so is that it? Just the mobile app and that's, that's all that's incorporated in Instagram? Nope, we need to know how do we put everyone's photos and comments together? Well, we use a network and we contact a web service. So web service, Instagram mobile app needs somewhere to upload your photos, view your followers, content, search for hashtags, etc. These are sometimes called application programming interfaces or APIs. They allow remote computers, servers, to store and manipulate the data. So how it works is a person's using Instagram, they perform an action, 
that application makes calls to a web service where data is stored and retrieved based on desired user actions. And a bonus is that Instagram isn't just user-friendly on a mobile application. You can also use it on a web application and actually has a pretty feature-rich web app. So it's just like the mobile app, it uses web services. All right, so we have mobile, web app, plus web services. Are we all done? That's how Instagram works. Good to go? Not exactly. Where are these web services located? They need to be on actual machines and not just one. So then the question is, does Instagram own tens of thousands of special servers? No, not quite. That's where cloud computing comes in. So the cloud is just computers connected to the internet. The popular ones are Amazon AWS, Google GCP, and Microsoft Azure. They're the biggest and they rent time on their computers for others to use. So Instagram used to run on Amazon's cloud, but Meta, Facebook, migrated them to their own sort of cloud. So now our web and mobile app call web services on many machines hosted in cloud service providers. All right, we're all done, finally made it. That's how Instagram is done. That's how you use the app. Well, one more thing. We need to know questions. What are people doing with it? What do people tap click on? What ads should we show? What is broken? So we need to know how to run the service and what's really how to make money. And that's where data science comes into play. So the data science lifecycle captures, maintains, processes, analyzes, and communicates this information. And it all starts with the questions. All of this is so you can make decisions on new features, fixing bugs, optimizing speed, selling ads, etc. So we're finally done. The application development bachelor supply science degree puts this all together. Like I mentioned earlier, you will learn computer science fundamentals with component software courses, discrete math, data structures courses, and then you will do some more skills training in web, mobile, cloud, and data science. And you will be able to build on those skills in our practicum based courses that we offer, which sometimes have client interaction opportunities, which then lead to potential internship opportunities and if you decide not to do an internship or don't land an internship, you certainly can have the opportunity to do a capstone project. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about application development in our program specifically. So we are a fully accredited bachelor's degree. We are regionally accredited, meaning that you can go on and get a master's degree upon graduation if you choose to do so. Uh, keep in mind, some master's degree programs may have their own set of prerequisites that you still need to complete. I will say that majority of students choose to go on and get a few years of work experience before they decide which master's degree program they want to go on to. We have small class sizes. There are about 25 or so students in a cohort in a class. So this allows you to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities with your faculty, small group activities, and get your questions answered. We have evening hybrid courses, meaning that each course is offered once a week per course, and the courses meet at 6 p.m. in the evening time. There are typically no Friday courses. So this is ideal for an individual that has a family to care for during the day or um, is working during the day and only has those few hours in the evening to actually attend a class. We are a cohort model, meaning that we only have one fall start date. So we start every fall, every year. And you are going through the course sequence with about 25 or so other students. And so you will have a really great opportunity to get to know your classmates, work together on projects, help each other out through that career search, um, and much more. We are definitely lower cost than universities and boot camps uh, in the sense that our, we try to keep our fees down and that we have opportunities for students to be able to use their financial aid, worker retraining funds, grants, or other aid towards this degree. 
we are going to be more intuition in comparison to the traditional 100, 200 level courses that you will see on campus, but we are still affordable in comparison to a traditional university. Uh, we have both industry and academic faculty in our program. Um, I feel like we're pretty lucky in the sense where we have some designated faculty that uh, you'll be able to visit on campus uh, when that time comes. Um, online that are available to help you out are primarily here uh, working in academia and we also have our faculty that work in the industry that teach a class for us in the evening time and so they will help bring in some of the latest technologies and keep students up to date on what's changing what's up and coming um, so we have a really great mix there all right, so application development resources. So all in all, Seattle Colleges, North Seattle College, we have some wonderful resources. We have great tutoring, we have a great library, bookstore, um, student clubs, and much more. I'm just talking specifically about the application development resources here, where we have dedicated Mac laptops for students to check out. We have an AD specific tutor uh, we have a great general tutoring department where we also provide a tutor at least two quarters out of the year um, for our students with someone that is uh, in the classroom or understands what the faculty is covering in the classroom and can help tutor on that material specifically. We also pay for some cloud-based subscriptions, uh, specifically for our class projects um, in a couple of the practicum courses. And these are AWS and Azure. We have some wonderful career assistance. We have that uh, in general at North with our work source uh, opportunity building, but we also have some great career assistance because we have a designated technical employment program manager that works specifically with this app dev program. Um, so he will definitely help you with resume, LinkedIn, um, preparing you for interviews, and all in all, we put together additional career resources throughout the school year that involve tech talks, um, meetup opportunities, mock interviews, guest lectures, and much, much more. Mentorship opportunities. We also are able to pay for some students to have two mentors throughout their school year where they can reach out to the mentors about questions uh, regarding the career, um, how to apply to get some of these jobs, pre preparation to get some of these jobs, um, things that are going on in the classroom. Uh, so these are some really great opportunities. All right, prerequisites. So to get into this program, you need to have 10 credits of programming done. And you'll see North, Central, and South are listed. So you have CSC 110, CSC 142, and IT 211 listed at North. And a few of the same courses listed at Central and South. And you need 10 credits of those programming courses. You then need five credits of database development, which here at North is IT 125. Five credits of web programming development, which is IT 161 or IT 102. Five credits of a quantitative symbolic reasoning course, and we recommend statistics or pre-calculus and five credits of English 101. This is also in addition to your associate's degree or your 90 plus college credits that you're gonna bring in with you. All right, this is our course schedule. This is an example of our full-time track. So this is a two year, six quarter track because we do not have any upper division courses over the summer. So you start off with a component software course, as well as a project management software development course. And then whenever you see a general education five credits listed, that is where we leave space for you to take any additional gen eds or electives that you need to take to complete your overall 180 credits needed to graduate. So the credits are broken down into general education categories, upper division AD courses, and then elective categories. Most of your courses from your previous associate's degree will be applied towards the electives and the gen ed categories. However, if you did not complete all those categories, you may have to take some additional courses. 
Winter quarter and spring quarter are a little heavier in the upper division courses because you are taking 15 credits a quarter. You will jump into web app development, data structures and algorithms, as well as relational database technology. Spring quarter, you will do your first project-based course and that is web application practicum. You will also jump into mobile application using Android Studio and discrete mathematics. Senior year, you will cover your practicum course that goes with mobile application, cloud computing, software as a service, and then winter year, you will complete cloud computing with your project course, and then you'll start data science. Spring quarter senior year, you will do the project class for data science, as well as an internship or capstone course. So you'll see that your senior year, we only require 10 credits for upper division. Once again, if you have any additional courses you'll need to take, that could bump you to that 15 credit mark. These are all hands-on courses, lots of opportunity for group work, partner work, um, meeting with outside clients, potentially an opportunity, an opportunity to build on your actual skills that you're learning in these development courses. All right, so tuition. For per credit in state tuition, you're looking at $226.53. And for an international non-resident student, you're looking at $637.35. Like I mentioned before, we accept financial aid, worker retraining, veterans aid, scholarships, and other Washington state grants. Okay, jumping into employment. So what type of jobs can you get with this degree? I will say that there are a number of different job titles out there and the job duties vary from job title to job title. All in all, we see most of our students landing with these type of job titles listed here. So we have software developer, web developer, associate software developer, mobile applications developer, software analyst, software engineer, DevOps engineer, technical program manager, site reliability engineer, software developer and test, quality engineer, uh, or member of technical staff. I mentioned that we provide extensive employment assistance as well as professional development events. So we don't just leave you hanging. We're not gonna just give you the material in the class and let that be the only additional resource that you get to succeed in this uh, field. We will help you with the career side of things. So where are our students landing? These are where some of our students are landing. This is quite the list. You will see that there's gonna be large companies, smaller companies, tech companies, non-tech companies, uh, consulting companies, startups, um, city of Seattle. So it really varies where our students are landing. And it's gonna vary um, obviously depending on the type of job you wanna receive, but also um, your personal interest. And what are they getting paid? Uh, so this is about on par with what we're seeing our students get paid once they land entry level work, um, as well as if they obtain an internship while uh, in our program. All right, so regarding employment, if you have further questions regarding employment and this degree, um, definitely reach out to our technical employment program manager, Stephen Balo. He's fantastic. If you decide to join the program with us, Steve will be working very closely with you to make sure all your previous career skills transfer over into this new career, uh, work on your LinkedIn and much, much more. All right, so applying for the degree. So we talked about this degree overall, we talked about the prerequisites, uh, we talked about the jobs. Now we want to talk about applying if you're further interested. So if you already have your associate's degree or your 90 plus college credits, then you are likely in a good point, a good place to be able to potentially apply. Um, it will really come down to if you have completed your technical prerequisites or not. And if you're ready for this fall or if you need to finish working on your prerequisites, and look at next fall 2023. So that's something I can definitely help you with. I'm happy to set up a Zoom time to go through your previous transcripts. What will transfer over? What do you still need? 
Um, and if you're eligible to start this fall or wait until next fall. Our applications are currently open for fall 2022 and they will be open again fall quarter for fall 2023. So we try to open up a fall admissions time every quarter for the next following fall quarter. And then ultimately, once you apply, get in, you complete the ADE program, and you finish with the two years uh, and 90 more credits with us. So if you want to learn more, please check out our website. It'll go over a little bit more in depth on the curriculum, um, prerequisites. You can also apply directly on our website there. And we also will be holding another information session that will include myself as well as our technical program manager on Tuesday, May 17th at 12 p.m. There's a Zoom link or you can view our program webpage for the direct link there. Um, we'll go over some of the same information, uh, but dive a little deeper into the curriculum as well as the employment side of things. All right, I'm gonna briefly mention this because it's somewhat related and I'm the director for this program as well. But have you heard of the new computer science and bachelor's of science degree? Anyone hear about it? All right, well, if you have or haven't, I'm just making everyone aware that, oops, that uh, this bachelor's degree is coming soon. It is similar to the app dev in that you'll be definitely learning some computer science fundamentals, but it's very different in the sense that there's going to be a lot more advanced theory courses. Um, and you'll have the option to choose either information science or computer science pathways. It will still be cohort based program made for working adults, uh, but there will be a large focus on logic and discrete math in this computer science bachelor's of science degree. Um, we are pending approval. So we cannot recruit students yet for this program, but we will be hopefully having our first cohort this upcoming fall. So if you're more interested in this degree, please check out the website and fill out the information. Um, and we will be in touch when it when full approval is uh, reached. All right, any questions? Any questions at all that I can help with? All right, well, that is all I have for you both today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. I'll put my email in the chat box. Otherwise, I will let you be on your way today. Thank you for attending.